wow what's up guys welcome back to the channel so today I'm gonna to show you guys how to use flex view in logic pro uh, you can use this with audio clips to kind of manipulate them stretch them in any different way or quantize them uh, it's good for sampling and things like that so let's get right into it see the benefits of it yeah. Okay guys, let me show you how to use FlexView in Logic Pro. Uh, it's a pretty simple tool, so it uh, this is going to be a pretty quick video. Let me just pull up a uh, sample that I think will be good for this example. Let's see. Okay. Get out of here. Okay, so this is just a little tambourine. Okay, and um, before I put FlexView on, you can see that when I change the tempo of the song, the uh, tempo of this audio clip does not uh, correspond with the change of the tempo. So watch, if I, I just change it to 120, and the tempo for this tambourine is still exactly the same. And now I switched it to 64, same. So a good thing and a way to kind of snap something to the grid in Logic is using flex mode. So this little button right here is the flex. I'm going to click this. See when you click it, it um, gives you another option. It expands this and now you have flex time options for you. So, um, you know, if you're, if you're using this for like a melody or like a chord progression or something like that, I would recommend using either polyphonic or monophonic depending on whether that sample or, or uh, sound is polyphonic or monophonic. In this case, since it's just a rhythmic uh, percussion sound, I'm going to use rhythmic. And honestly, uh, polyphonic, rhythmic, and monophonic uh, and sometimes slicing are really the only four that I use. I really don't touch speed or tempo phone that much. I don't know exactly what the best use cases are for those. So I'm going to go ahead and do rhythmic. And as you can see, when I do that, it uh, kind of highlights all of the transients on this sample. And it gives me the ability to click on any given one and drag it. Um, so this is really good for if you want to quantize something like percussion or vocals or something like that. Uh, obviously, some sounds work better with this than others. Uh, typically, I don't usually use FlexView to uh, edit vocals unless I'm intentionally trying to make it sound a little glitchy or trippy. Um, but so I'm just going to have this little loop. I'm going to go through, quantize these bad boys. Okay little idea and now that I've uh, flexed it now it's pretty much snapped to the grid to where now watch when I change the tempo uh, the tempo of the sample changes with it so I don't remember what it was at but now let's go up to 150 now watch So this is a very quick and easy way to snap something to the grid. Um, you know, usually if you're changing the tempo of a song and you have a lot of audio clips in the song, you're going to play it back and it's going to be funky because all the MIDI changed with the tempo but the audio didn't. So this is the way on Logic that you snap your audio to the grid and you can modify it uh, however you'd like. Um, and another little side thing that I like to do with this is get kind of experimental and trippy with it. Uh, for example, you know, sometimes I find new samples within samples uh, just by intentionally being crazy with it, like this. Like that, like... Pull that. New thing, and it's cool, right? Uh, you just get to choose how you want to affect it and do so. Um, so these are the ways that I use Flex View in Logic Pro. It's very important to me. I use Flex in every single song that I make, whether it's quantizing an audio clip or trying to find some experimental rhythm out of a sample, uh, and I, which I just showed here. So this is why I like to use Flex View. Uh, I, it's definitely a crucial tool for me. Let me know if you guys like Flex View. If this is a new skill for you, go ahead and try it out. Let me know how you like it. Hit that like button. Send me a comment. Subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. See you guys.